Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's All-Star Movies Resort to be on the move over to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Coming up next. Hey Explorers, John with Fun To Be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. We're here at Disney's All-Star Movies Resort. This is where we're going to start our excursion and we're going to end up on Hollywood Boulevard at Disney's Hollywood Studios where we'll take a spectacular journey into the movies. Stay tuned because we're going to discover some Disney MGM Studios classic motion picture history. At Disney's All-Star Movies Resort, imagine yourself sharing the spotlight with some of your favorite Disney characters as you headline your very own All-Star Adventure. At this hotel, you can walk down the red carpet and be the star of the silver screen and attend your own world premiere movie. Now let's proceed into Cinema Hall by going through these double sets of double doors. We're now inside the lobby and just up ahead is the reception area with the front desk for check-in. Let's keep walking straight ahead and go take a look at Disney's All-Star Movies Hall of Fame. Hanging on the wall are some photographs from some of your favorite motion pictures. There's even a tribute to Star Wars. Light speed to number one at the box office. At the world premiere food court, enjoy a blockbuster lunch or dinner in a glitzy setting that resembles a grand movie theater lobby. Here's a quick look at the dining area and over to the left hand side is the mobile order pickup window. Now let's proceed into the theater lobby and take a closer look. Here at this quick service dining location, there are multiple serving stations that you could choose from. Let's see what types of food items they have to offer on the menu. At the world premiere food court, take a midday intermission or call your day a wrap with souvenir specialties, entrees, sandwiches, burgers and chicken, pizza and pasta, salads, plant-based, kids Disney check meal, kids meal, sides, and also dessert. There's the register apps for speedy checkout. Down in this direction is a much needed appliance. Let's go take a look at that. It's the microwave oven. Now let's go outside through these double doors. We're going to make a left, head south, and walk down this pathway here. Over to the Toy Story area. Standing guard near the rooftops are the Green Army Men. Through this cracked open door is Andy's room. Let's go see that. The Toy Story wing of the resort is like stepping behind the scenes of this classic Pixar inspired film with the playful toys of Andy's room. Just outside the window of room 9701, there's a perfect view of Sheriff Woody keeping a watchful eye and making sure all of his fellow toys are having fun. 
It's the perfect fit for families with junior explorers who love Toy Story, as Rex, Bo Peep, an army of toy soldiers, and Buzz Lightyear are all right outside in the courtyard. In fact, there's a 35-foot tall Buzz Lightyear and a 25-foot tall Woody here in the Toy Story area. Now let's reverse our direction and head back to Cinema Hall. At this expansive Fantasia-themed pool, inspired by the classic Disney film, Sorcerer Mickey sprays water into the deep end. Just look at all the families having the time of their lives in the pool. Now let's head through this gate. And off in this direction here. Surround yourself in a hotel that salutes the legends of Disney films. Like the dotted pups of 101 Dalmatians with the whimsical, larger than life decor. For example, the 40 foot tall Pongo and 35 foot tall Perdita here in the 101 Dalmatians area. In the pavement below is a dog bone with the words that are stamped canine crunchies. And over here is another photo spot with a Dalmatian puppy presumably watching the canine crunchies commercial on the vintage TV. On this building's facade is Jasper and Horace chasing the puppies with the sinister Cruella de Vil in tow. Now let's head back to the Fantasia Pool and Cinema Hall. Follow me. Located below this giant star is the entrance we're gonna use to go back inside. Now let's head back inside through the double sets of double doors into Cinema Hall. In this direction is another Disney's All-Star Movies Hall of Fame with more photographs from more of your favorite movies. Only this time, the Muppets take Hollywood by storm. And on the other side of the hallway, is the real fun arcade. Like the movie reel. Get it? Waka waka. There's the world premiere food court again. If we were to go through these doors, it would take us to the Walt Disney World Transportation, but we'll see that in a moment. Duck into Donald's double feature for an assortment of Disney apparel, housewares, and sundries. As we walk in the gift shop, we're immediately greeted by Toy Story merchandise. They have a wide assortment of t-shirts to choose from. They also offer these Disney's All-Star Resorts merchandise items. You could purchase your items here at the box office. And over to the left hand side is Will Call for package pickup. Tucked back in the corner are the housewares and the sundries. Now let's go outside and locate our transportation. There's the doors that we just came out of, located next to Donald's double feature gift shop sign. Here's a quick look at the bus stop. The Disney's Hollywood Studios bus pickup location is located down here on the far end. It looks like our carriage is now approaching.
Now we have to proceed all the way down to the main entrance. Welcome to Disney's Hollywood Studios, where you'll take center stage as the star of your very own adventure. Now we just have to go through the touch points located at the guest entrance. Disney's Hollywood Studios was designed to celebrate the magic of a place where everyday dreams really could come true. Hollywood. At this homage to the wonders of movie making, it's only fitting that walking into the park, guests find themselves on a set that transports them back to the golden age of filmmaking. As guests first enter the theme park, they find themselves at the crossroads of the world. Its towering Art Deco spire is topped with Mickey Mouse, traversing the spinning globe. The original Crossroads of the World was built in 1936 in Los Angeles, California, and it was located at America's first outdoor shopping mall. Disney's version is a gift shop, but it serves as a creative and authentic tribute to the golden age of Hollywood. Today, this is where you can purchase souvenirs, autograph books, pins, postcards, and even rainwear. Now let's find a good spot to watch the Pixar Pals motorcade. This looks pretty good right in here. Now let's walk down Hollywood Boulevard and enjoy the ambiance. As you stroll down Hollywood Boulevard, just before you get to the central courtyard, take a look off to the left and you'll see a dedication plaque in a bronze statue. The statue's plaque reads, he envisioned dreams that others might share. The cameraman statue was originally sculpted by father and son Aldo and Andrea Favilli in 1991. The statue is based on the original sculpture created by the Favillis, located near the Warner Brothers studio in Burbank, California which was commissioned by Roy E. Disney. The man in the statue is a generic 1920s to 1930s filmmaker, and he is not based on anyone in particular. Let's continue heading down this direction here. What movie-going experience wouldn't be complete without some popcorn? Like at this stand here, hot and fresh popcorn. There's even another popcorn stand located on the opposite side of the courtyard. Step back in time as you behold a full-scale reproduction of Brahmin's Chinese theater, which features handprints, footprints, and signatures are some of Disney's greatest stars embedded in the cement. The Great Movie Ride opened with the park on May 1st, 1989, and it relived some of the most memorable moments in motion picture history during a slow moving dark ride, which immersed guests into the middle of the magic on a soundstage designed to recall the 1930s era of Hollywood. 
This attraction featured nearly 50 lifelike audio animatronic replicas of legendary movie stars and memorable scenes from classic movies representing the popular movie genres of the 20th century, including musicals, adventure, science fiction, westerns, gangsters, animation, and fantasy. The Great Movie Ride closed permanently on August 13, 2017 to be transformed and reimagined into the all-new Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway Attraction. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway occupies the same show building as the Great Movie Ride once did. Have a picture-perfect day here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Now it's time for a Disney MGM Studios flashback. Here we are, near Hollywood Boulevard, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. With that said, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.